All right, welcome back to another TK421 Collectibles video. I often get asked, what cabinets do I use? Uh, so I thought I'd do a quick video just describing it, basically the Dettols from Ikea. They're now discontinued. We've got three reasons why they are really, really good, perfect for my space and for the collection. And then after that, we'll have a quick look at some of my most favorite YouTubers display options that they've done. Uh, so let's have a look. TK421, why aren't you at your post? So my number one reason probably, if I'm being honest, is how cheap IKEA Dettolfs are. When I pick them up from Marketplace, I can get them for free, get them for like 20 quid. Really cheap, people want to get rid of them. Like basically from like shop stores usually, you know, like X display sort of things. For when people are shutting down shop, been able to pick up loads for free, just people just want to get rid. And as I've branched out slightly from purely Star Wars, got a few, couple of Batman figures, BVS, Spider-Man there, uh, Green Goblin up there as well. Um, but yeah, I've, I, so I did need a bit more extra space, obviously, and there's a load of new Star Wars figures coming out, obviously, so yeah, number one, pretty cheap, pretty available still, even though IKEA have discontinued them, you can still pick them up from Facebook Marketplace, usually, but they're cheap. Right, reason number two why Dettolf are perfect for my uh, collection room. The, the space is really small, so obviously I've got them lined up all along the walls, all around the outside of the room. So the, the footprint of the Dettolf is really quite small, so it's only, the depth of them is only 37 centimetres. If you're looking at something like Modger Space, the depths of those cabinets are really deeper. So it just mean my floor space would be even, even less than it is. But I've managed to squeeze another two. I mean, they really are squeezed in here. Obviously that, that one with Vader in at the minute currently blocks that one off, but I think I'm gonna put the sequel stuff just in this corner and that'll free up another couple of Dettolfs on this side as well. And start putting the Ahsoka stuff there when that starts to come out. But yeah, so now there's 14 Dettolfs in the collection room and it's, I think it's looking pretty, pretty good to be honest. I do like it because I can sit right in the middle of it all watching me, watching me films. And also when you're looking for like from an angle like here, I couldn't have, imagine that shelf there totally black like a modest space you just won't be able to see anything of the, the figures underneath I know you can't really see many of them other than at the front but uh, I think it just it'd make it it wouldn't work I don't think I need the glass shelves all the way around uh, just so I can see like all the figures and I could put them on risers but with the with the Dettolfs obviously I've got a lot of stuff along the top as well now so uh, risers wouldn't really work because all that space is already took up by vehicles, monsters and quarter scales. All right, so they were my top three reasons why I think Dettolfs are perfect for my space and my collection. They're cheap, uh, if, if you know where to get them, obviously you can get them for free. Um, the depth of them, perfect for the room space and the glass, I like it all glass. Visibility, perfect, no matter where you're looking. You can always see the figures, absolutely perfect. Without spending thousands on like modular space or, or getting it a really like kind of custom fully glass setup, which God knows how much that would cost, uh, the debt offs are just absolutely perfect. So let's have a quick look at some of my favourite other YouTubers who've got like what I think are kind of amazing collections. Let's have a look. Give me regular reports, please. So these are in no particular order, but I just thought I'd start with One Six Figure Focus, absolutely fantastic channel. A chap called Shane is uh, is the host of this channel, and he's recently gone from Dettolfs to Blaleden, another IKEA product. And as you can see here, his collection is obviously really, really well curated. So he's only picking certain figures that, that really mean a lot to this guy, and he's got a display like one figure. Per, per shelf basically, per box. And that kind of work, it looks absolutely stunning. That basically showcase these key figures, then this sort of setup looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, Shane's a top bloke as well. He invited me onto a live stream, but I don't do live streams really, because I'll just be like. But yeah, this, this setup just looks absolutely beautiful. So that was, that is one six figure focus. Bleleden, I think it's pronounced. 
again, IKEA, it's the Dettol replacement basically. Just looks absolutely gorgeous. It's obviously got Luke lights in here, which are similar lights to what I've got, but they've got this strip along the, along the front there that kind of stops the light bouncing out of the cabinet, keeps it focused onto the figure. So that is one six figure focus. There's one, set for stun. Right, number two. Again, in no particular order, but this is a knickknacks plastic planet. This guy <laughs> really is he's dead funny. Uh, really good bloke. It seems like a, such a top bloke. His collection is absolutely amazing. Like really eclectic sort of stuff. He's got like classic, obviously, hot toys and all the usual good stuff like that. He's also got like the Star Trek stuff. We're just flicking through randomly here. Creature from the Black Lagoon, obviously. Right, E.T., look at this. Alf, you know, like all these classic old toys as well. Like the thing I recently saw of one of his videos was that this He-Man set that he's done with the big snake coming out of the out of the wall. But he's got like just a display. I think a lot of them are kind of open, but he's in a basement. But he's just like just the amount of stuff. It looks really, really good. Like you, you could go in and like you could be finding stuff and seeing stuff. Suddenly get a, a hit of nostalgia here. And, looking at something over there and it's just it just looks amazing this this channel's amazing go and check it out have a look at the collection tours they're just out of this world yeah. so that is knickknacks plastic planet absolutely fantastic Stop that ship. And now we've got Todd's Collectibles, which is another amazing way of displaying stuff with the Dettols, but some other bigger kind of glass cabinets like that. All stuff along the top in those Apex Tank display cases, some other custom sort of cases here. I mean, this collection is just in, insane as well. Absolutely amazing. All the dioramas and like and these displays along the wall as well. Obviously, we've got the, the usual details, but such a, a really good use of the space, basically, all around, which is what I was kind of aiming for with mine as well. It just looks stunning. I think there's some quarter scales in here as well, primarily six scale, but with the dioramas, unbelievable. The lighting as well, just looks superb. That, that big uh, kind of Justice League display case in the middle of the room, just absolutely stunning. So I'd, I'd love to get my collection room in a similar similar way that this is so yeah that was todd's collectibles smashing bloke go check out his channel i'm plugging all these channels they've, they've all got more <laughs> more subscribers than i have i think this uh this collection tour has got like nearly fifty thousand views on it and stuff so yeah i'm looking i am saying go and check these channels out you probably already know them anyway because they're a lot bigger than mine let me see your identification Okay, next up, another display option here is from Mr. Mom Collectibles, Ryan. Again, another top bloke, another amazing collection, but he's built these like custom muscle rack type things. So he's put a lot of work into this, obviously, with all the black risers and everything, the black shelving, and it's all lit. So I think he'd managed to do this at quite a, a decent cost. You can see there's a better full view of it. There's no perspex on the front at the moment, but uh, I'm not sure whether he was gonna do that at some point, but. I guess it makes it more difficult to get the figures there. With this as well, for me, it doesn't work because of the depth, but with his space, this is another option. If you've got a big bit of space that you can have like these kind of deep sort of shelving, this is a good uh, a good alternative to modular space as well. There's his old Dettolf display. And then, then the muscle rack version. Obviously you can get a lot more figures on that. I mean, look at that Boba Fett <laughs> on that, uh, that plinth throne type thing absolutely stunning so you can pack a lot of figures in there um but yeah for me it's just just too they're just too deep and i couldn't have them on each side of the room because i'd end up with like a tiny little bit of room in the middle but yeah that's another option if you've got the space these muscle racks he's got a video on his channel of how he's built it basically you wanted to check that out that's mr mom collectibles another fantastic collection as well like a really good mix of stuff so also star wars dc and then like the movie line robocop back to the future all that kind of stuff great channel go check it out give me regular reports please okay and finally we've got fab's figures uh, absolutely unbelievable collection got like literally over over a thousand figures maybe 1500 figures um, look at the tumblers on the top of these cabinets. These are another display option. So he's got these big cabinets. Take off most of the stands off the figures and just buy the plastic kind of U stands. 
uh, and use them instead because you can get a lot more figures in the displays then. Uh, it's also got Dettols as well, but these, these big glass cabinets look amazing. I'd love to try and get hold of some of them because uh, they look like not as not as deep as like the modular space type stuff. But I mean, look at that that display. So yeah, he's got everything pretty much, like <laughs> every hot toy. I mean, he's been collecting since hot toys first been around, I think. So obviously got a lot of experience collecting hot toys from when they were kits as well. So yeah, that's just the amount of figures. It looks unbelievable. Look at the ED two hundred nines up there as well. It's just. <laughs> Unbelievable. The collection's amazing. It's almost like a, a maze of Dettols, this bit. And then obviously we've seen the other bit when it's those big glass cabinets, but absolutely beautiful collection. Um, go check out his channel as well. So yeah, there's five examples of different uses of the space, different display options, different types of collecting, obviously. So it's, uh, again, it's whatever, whatever suits you really. Like I say, for my room, my space, Death Horse is, is the best option, but like I say, a lot of these are completely different setups, but each one just looks absolutely phenomenal, I think. Right, I hope you enjoyed that quick video of my top three reasons why Death Horse are perfect for me and some other options as well from other collectors. Uh, I think they look, they all look fantastic. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, really appreciate it. And uh, if, you, if you want to support the channel a little bit more, please don't forget you can also join and become a member um, that would be amazing for less than a cost of half a cup of coffee really but yeah obviously if you don't want to do that that's absolutely fine um, if you want to chat about any of the figures in the collection i'll see you in the comments otherwise see you in the next video take it easy